So just an update on the Ender 5 Pro that I've got. I've done a bit of an update to it. Don't know if you can tell, but it looks a little different. So I increased the Z-axis quite a bit. It's a whole lot taller now than it used to be. Um, changed out the lead screw to a ball screw. Um, upgraded the linear rails from 10 millimeter to 12 millimeter rods. I added a, a cable chain here for the, the wiring. Um, I also got rid of the Ender controller. And it's now running off of a, a Duet 2 Wi-Fi, which is tucked around the back in that nice glowing red case. Um, I upgraded the board because the bigger stepper motor driving the Z-axis, I had to increase the current output and I couldn't figure out how to do that on the Marlin, so I just decided to make my life easy and change it to a duet. I also increased the stepper current to the Y-axis, still not even warm, but I noticed before that if I tried to do rapid travels, um, it would get Y-axis shifts because there just wasn't enough holding power in that stepper motor. So now I'm just printing a, a calibration cube here, a 20 millimeter cal cube with a 0.1 nozzle, because sorry, 0.2 nozzle, because that's what was in there the last time I printed anything. Um, and I also added the BL touch with the auto leveling. Uh, the only thing that's kind of annoying now is I don't have the control here. Um, I gotta walk all the way across my house to my computer. So I think I might, uh, buy a cheap and expensive tablet with a web browser that works with the Duet web control. Um, I still have to actually add the um, Bowden feed tube. Right now I'm just using what I had left of this blue filament, so it's just kind of hanging there. Um, and then it would be nice to get these supported a little better um, and do a bit of cable cleanup when all said and done. But Otherwise, I'm quite pleased with how it all turned out. Thanks for watching.